Welcome, I am Light the Viking, and today I thought I would talk and comment a little about the new game The Wayward Realms, made by the original Elder Scrolls developers from, uh, more specifically, Daggerfall. That is what we're gonna do today, and we're gonna watch the teaser trailer that they recently released, and I will be commenting about some other stuff we're seeing. Here we go, got some spiders and a skull. And what looks to be a person on a horse in a dark forest. Some god race, sun race. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. I saw there was a Tarantula leather. A big spider. Some birds. Looks to be an orc on a horse. With some writing on there. And it's going to through that. He's teleporting somehow. Oh, Drake and three three moons. We gotta we gotta re rewind here a little bit. I'm seeing a Drake and three moons here. Uh, as you well know, in Elder Scrolls, you have Secunda and Master, which are the two moons uh, in that universe, and. Uh, Apparently in this universe, there's more, maybe even more than three moons, I think uh, was talked about. So here we got the archipelago. That's the world of this uh, game, the Werewolf Realms, which is being made by the original Elder Scrolls developers, veterans of the game, basically. It's a spiritual successor to Daggerfall. That's what they've been saying. And uh, this here, this view here, looks pretty good, good to me, honestly. I think it might be in Unreal Engine 5. I might be wrong, wrong about that. You can comment about that uh, down below if you want and uh, see if I'm right or wrong. But yes, it seems to be an open world. And they have been talking about it's going to be a spiritual successor to Daggerfall, of, of course, which means procedurally generated areas, lots of it, thousands of NPCs that you can talk to, interact with. I think it's going to be text-based uh, dialogue though. Right now, that might change in the future, but that's what I've uh, read before. And so far we've only seen one race, the, the orc. I think they're very, very fond of the orc on the horse right there, as you see. I, I myself, I like orcs or Orsimmer in the, in the Elder Scrolls, so I'm not complaining too much about that. My first race in in uh, Skyrim was actually an orc, so I'm all for it. But yeah, like, like I said, this view here looks very n nice, very cool to explore probably. And uh, what I'm thinking is it's gonna be probably a lot of fast traveling since Daggerfall itself as a game, which was as huge as Britain or UK, basically. You basically needed to fast travel. So I think that mechanic is probably gonna go over into the Wayworld realms. But yes, I think it's interesting these three moons or more, I don't know, there might be more, and maybe more suns, I, I, I'm not entirely sure about that. But what part they have to play. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, as we move forward. But then again, it's important to uh, pinpoint that this game is in the earlier stages. So we're not going to see it in probably several years fully released so what i'm predicting myself probably around the si same time as the elder scrolls 6 is releasing and this is a very small team of course a very very small team so do not expect like triple a quality 
that's uh, you have to keep your expectations low. It's it's fine to be excited, but don't be overhyped. We we've learned about that from uh, a couple of games, you could say, earlier. But yes, I think it's a cool little teaser. Uh, hoping for it to be good. I'm not expecting a AAA, like I said. And uh, yes, that is it for the video. So thanks for watching. What are your thoughts about this game? Hopefully, like I said, it's going to be a good one. And since it's a Daggerfall successor or spiritual successor from the old veterans of uh, Elsos, it might as well be very good. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.